Hey guys, this is Azerlin with a quick review of Neptune Flux. Neptune Flux is a first-person underwater exploration adventure that is playable with or without using VR. I played using my desktop, so I can't comment on the VR experience. The game is story-driven, the world above the surface is dying, and humanity's last hope for survival lies deep in the ocean. While colonization is taking place, bizarre surges of energy disrupt the operations of the underwater project. You play as Sarah, and you are dispatched to investigate the cause. You start off at the Aqua Base, and you are assigned missions from command. As you venture out from the main base, you discover various wreckage sites that begin other missions. The story is fine, but there isn't a whole lot to it. Overall, the gameplay is similar to that of an underwater walking simulator, with a strong focus on open exploration. As you explore and complete missions, you start to put the pieces together and learn the truth about what's really going on. Completing missions and salvaging treasure rewards you with currency to buy consumables and upgrades for your dive pod. You can only carry a limited number of consumables at a time, and there are only two upgrades available. By the end of the game, you will have a ton of currency left over, so I wish there was more consumable carrying capacity or some other upgrades to purchase. The graphics are good, and I liked exploring the sunken wreckage, but most of the area is desolate. Your dive pod has a battery that slowly drains as you use your sonar or travel between different locations. Traveling too far away from the base and the wreckage sites drastically throttles the speed of your dive pod since you aren't meant to go out that far. The terrain between the points of interest feels like more of the same. I was really hoping that there would be some interesting aquatic life similar to what you would see in Bioshock or Soma. I feel a bit mixed about the audio. The voice acting is excellent and I was impressed by it. For as much as I enjoyed the strong narrative, I do think they could have made it even better if dialogue choices had been available, something to give the player a greater sense of control over the story. I also enjoyed the soundtrack. It's relaxing to listen to while you explore, and it works really well with the ambience to create an immersive, calming atmosphere. However, some of the sound effects, specifically the sonar and low battery, are very annoying and loud. The dive pod makes a high-pitched whining sound when moving and that gets irritating as well. Implementing a separate volume slider for only the sound effects would definitely be a great addition. The game is extremely short. It took me less than an hour and a half to complete while salvaging everything I could and exploring very thoroughly. You can rush through the game much faster, but this type of game is best enjoyed by taking your time and enjoying the immersion. I love the narrative and atmosphere, and I found that the exploration was somewhat satisfying. Investigating the wrecks, figuring out what to do, and completing missions was interesting, but I wanted to journey out further. Beyond the wreckage was just vast emptiness though, so I wished that there had been more to see. I like the game, but I find it hard to justify the price given the amount of content. I expect that Neptune Flux is best played using VR, and that's probably why it costs more, but the price is simply too high for those planning to play without using VR. I hope this review has helped you. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and post your feedback in the comments below. Thanks everyone, and have a wonderful day!